What up folks, it's Alex here. It's nearly Christmas, so I've got my Christmas jumper on and we've gone for a bit of a Christmassy theme for this tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to create dead easy, dead simple whip transitions that look something like this. Really simple, really easy to make. They require no fusion because they're made using adjustment clips and the standard transitions. So let's open Resolve and I'll show you how to do it. First up, head into your effects library by clicking on this icon in the top left hand corner. Open up the toolbox, go to video transitions, scroll down to the motion area and then you're looking for this one here called push and drag that onto your timeline. Now you don't need to worry about sizing it just yet, just leave it as it is for default and then give it a click so it's highlighted in red. Then open up your inspector by clicking on this icon in the top right hand corner and this panel will appear. So in this top one here you can actually change the attribute of the transition itself. I find that changing it to 20 frames works really well but you can experiment with that, change it as you need to, have a play with it. Now if we actually play that through you can see it pushes it across, but it's not quite what we're after. It's a bit linear, it's a bit boring. Now, as I've mentioned in other videos, one way to get around that really easily, in this inspector panel, go down to where it says ease. It currently says none. Just change that to in and out, and it puts a much nicer flow to the transition. So now if we play that, it's starting to look a little bit better. You can see the transition here, that join. If we click on feather, and then increase the border, we can feather that together. This is entirely personal preference. If you want to sort of smoothen the transition out a little bit, click feather, add a bit of a border, and that can look quite nice. I personally actually like it without any at all. And then also you've got this preset here. So you can choose push left, push right, push up, and push down. So you can change the direction of these pushes. If I change this to push up, as you can see, it'll push up, We've got push right and push left. We'll keep this as push left for now. Now as it is, it looks okay, but it's missing something and that is a bit of blur. It looks a bit too sharp for our liking. So head into the toolbox again, go to effects and then grab an adjustment clip and put it on your timeline just above the transition. Make that adjustment clip the same length as the transition, like so. Now that that's on your timeline, head back into the toolbox, go to open effects, in the blur area at the very top, you want to grab a directional blur and then drag that onto the adjustment clip. Give the adjustment clip a click so it's highlighted in red. And then with the inspector open, which you should still hopefully be there, you should see open effects. Give that a click. And here you can change the attribute of the blur. So as you can see here now, it's a little bit blur, but it's not too bad. If we increase the strength to full, that's all of the blur that we can have. And you can see that it's pointing at a 45 degree angle at the moment. In this blur angle, you can change the angle of the blur. Easiest way to remember this, if you're doing a left or a right, it's 180. And if you're doing an up or a down, change that to 90. I'm going to put that as 180. Now you've also got this sort of black edging around the outside, which doesn't look very nice. So just change the border type from black to reflect. Now all we're going to do is add some keyframes so that the blur comes in gradually and then goes out gradually. So first, make sure your playhead is at the center of the transition, i.e. where these two clips meet, and then we're going to set the blur to its highest point. So I find that 0.8 works really well. And then once you've changed that, just click on this diamond here to add a keyframe. Then put your playhead at the beginning of this transition, so right here on the timeline and then just drag your blur strength straight down to the bottom. So at the beginning, there's no blur at all. And then as the transition starts to make its way through, the blur strength will increase until it's at its greatest point here. And then just do the opposite, drag your playhead to the end and drag your blur strength to zero again. So then the blur will increase and then decrease. Now, if we just hit play on that, there we have a nice little transition. So if I just show you, this is a push right, and then we've got a push left, and then also we've got a push up. And then lastly, let's just add a quick sound effect on there, give it a bit of a whoosh, and then we have 
the completed transition. So that's it, super easy to do. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, pop them down below and don't forget to subscribe. Now I apologize for the slightly iffy setup for this video. We've got guests, so this room's sort of in use, so I've had to sort of buy just set up, but it sort of works, so there you go. It is nearly Christmas, we're coming to the end of 2019. Just wanna say a real quick thank you to you all for watching these videos, for liking them, for sharing them, for supporting me, for giving me feedback everything that you've all done. I really, really appreciate it. 2020, hopefully, is going to be another really good year for us all. So yeah, thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wee.